It's a final home pre-season game for Dulwich Hamlet this afternoon as they take on Brentford B at Champion Hill. The Hamlet produced an excellent display against Crystal Palace under 23s on Tuesday night to record their first win of pre-season. And 10 of the starting lineup from that game also start today with captain Kenny Beanie replacing Ralph Cottoy in the only change. The Bees have four wins from four this summer including a 6-0 hammering of Benfica B and a win over Chelsea 11 last time out. They have made six alterations from the side which started against the Blues. So can the Hamlet go into their trilogy of away games with another win? Or can Brentford keep up their 100% record? Brentford though, been in excellent form in pre-season. Beating some, uh, some big teams. Here's crew for Dulwich though early on. And for Tomlin, trying to link up with DeMarco. They look good on uh, Tuesday night. DeMarco did volley that towards goal. But uh, a long way off target from Dulwich front man. I'm watching an interview one of their players on their website before the game. They expected a physical battle against Dulwich today and from that uh, challenge by Cargwell, they could be right. Here's Reese Cole, the captain, with uh, Westbrook on the bench. Blocked by Beanie, that attempted pass by Holdak. Carew. It's given away cheaply, Titov. Tax on, Shaibi trying to link back up with Titov. There is still a shot on goal. Wider than near post. First opportunity for Brentford this afternoon. Weatherstone and Edwards playing it between them. Chambers and Weatherstone again. They play their way out of trouble nicely there, Dulwich. Good football. Karma's always in defence. Tomlin's touch let him down there. Usually stops it dead, Gavin Tomlin. Cole, Holdak. Brentford growing into the game the last minute. Cole again can bring this forward. He'll go for goal from distance. That's off target as well, but decent build-up play again from the visitors. A couple of warning signs for the uh, Dulwich defence. <laughs> Crew has marked the ball with a bit more purpose this time. That will be Carew. Gets it through the wall. Comfortable height, though, for Balcombe. Just sat up nicely off the surface for the goalkeeper. Dulwich's first shot on target in this game. Clunas volleys inside, only to Emmanuel Honorias. Force. Blocked off by Chambers, strong challenge, good challenge. Stuck out a leg, An important time as Carew now releases DeMarca. Tomlin wants it early. DeMarca goes infield, long way off target though from Demibi DeMarca. In by Carew, DeMarca got a touch on it, might come for action pong, bit of pinball going on. Honorias is able to clear. Asabi Mensa gets away from Beanie and Carew, and Dulwich are exposed a little bit. The ball's on here for Shaibu. First touch is decent. Great work from Clunis. He's the only man back there, Nairon Clunis. Excellent challenge. Appreciated by Press Nebbers as well. Asabi Mensa. Colt. Over the top it goes. Another stone to Chambers. Green will get there ahead of Titov, I think, but Titov with a good side and challenge. Green took a bit too long. Shaibu now four up in this attack on three, with Titov joining as well on the overlap. Still Shaibu lays it off. Here's Cole. Brilliant finish. Dulwich exposed at the back, the counter-attack was on. And Reese Cole, the captain, finds the top corner. Tremendous strike. 36 minutes played. It's the visitors who lead. Green took a long time for the ball to come to him. Sliding in was David Titov, and from there the attack was mounted. Justin Shaibu held the ball up before finding Cole edge of the area. Curls it beyond the reach of Preston Edwards into the top corner. And it's Brentford B who take a lead in this game. Here is Cole, he's been everywhere in this first half. Busy player. Clunis. On for DeMarco, is it? Back to Clunis. Fires in the shot over the top from Clunis, from the edge of the area. Had a long time to strike it. Couldn't keep it down. Cole. Long ball was on there. Edwards calls it. 
Chambers will allow the ball go back to his keeper. Great season last year, Edwards. 66 games he played for Dulwich. Record for a first-team player. Carew. Tomlin on the shoulder of the last defender. Goes inside Gavin Tomlin onto his right foot. And his uh, eventual shot is off target. Bit of a daisy cutter from Gavin Tomlin. Cogbo, innovative header back to Achimpong. Over Carew goes. Tomlin trying to lay it off for Ashley Carew. Drops through him. Cogbo. Dulwich have men forward here. Beanie will spread this out for Green. Only Titov to uh, take on. Sends it in towards Tomlin. It will come for Gavin Tomlin. On for DeMarca. Couldn't quite get the shot in. It was well charged down. Corner kick for the home side. They've taken it quickly. Cludis sends it in over to Marco. Goes Green tries to steal in. Good save, Balcom. Best save he's had to make this afternoon. Five green shirts in the penalty area to aim at for Colt. Referee's ready. A lot of pace in the cross. There was a touch in there from uh, Manny Onorias, but couldn't direct it goalwards. Chance to send the cavalry forward again. Ashley Carew, this often is on free kick duty. Needs a good delivery though, Carew. To a mix of players, Chambers knocks it back across goal. Cargo has got to react here. This is a counter attack on. There's five up here. Conclude this trap back, that's the question. Going through, that's a great challenge on Asabi Mensa by Clunis. For the second time today, Nyron Clunis has defended tremendously. Easily picked up by Cargbo, that pass. Releases Tomlin on the right. Looking to renew his battle with Edibor. Tries to bend one, Gavin Tomlin. Balcoom is scrambling. Can't have been too far wide of his far post from the Dulwich number nine. Nice turn from Asabi Mensah and he'll get to the return pass as well. On he goes. Colt sits through his shy boot. So a cutback on, blocked by Green. Shy might get there again. Green was slow to react, but he pokes into the side netting there. Justin shy boot. Got to the loose ball, trying to poke it inside. Preston Edwards is near post. Wrong side of the post though. Have a long range shot here. It's a good one, you know. Palmed away by Edwards. Action Prong prevents the corner. Well struck that by Jan Holdak. Balcom organising his wall. Four players in place. Can Ralph Kotoy draw Dulwich level here? No, he can't. A lot of power, but over the crossbar from Kotoy. Tolbrak, the only change, sorry, Tolbro, the uh, only change they've made so far this afternoon. Brentford. Chatsy Theodoridis. Alves. Cole. Hurston Alves again. Turn from uh, Asabi Mensa. Fouled by Cotoy. Referee delayed blowing the whistle. See what advantage there was. That's to be meant to slip that through. Nice ball as well. His fours. Oh, that's not far wide. Just past the uh, far post. Cotoy. Simple from him to Chambers. He goes long. Vandia trying to knock it down. Doesn't find a teammate. Here's Cole. And again, send men forward. It's through to Shibu. Is there a shot for him? Yes, there is. Edward saves with his leg. Cotoy. There goes the full-time whistle. Dulwich end their home pre-season fixture list with a defeat this afternoon against Brentford B. But a, a very good performance and a, an important workout for them again. Uh, the only goal of the game came in the first half. A, a fine finish as well from Reese Cole. Nathan Green was uh, beaten to the ball by David Titoff. The ball went forward to Justin Shibu and he pulled it back for Cole to fire higher beyond Preston Edwards. Dulwich didn't really test... Ellery Balcom too often this afternoon. The closest they came in the game was a Nathan Green header, which was tipped away by the keeper. Gavin Tomlin curled one wide as well. Brentford B maybe could have had a second when Marcus Fors went close as well. But uh, Dulwich were pleased with the workout. Final score at Champion Hill this afternoon is Dulwich Hamlet nil, Brentford B1. Gav, again, the result's not important today. What did you make of the performance as a whole? 
Um, there were spells were good. First half, um, we pressed well. Um, I think 20 minutes in, they probably didn't get over the halfway line. But these boys are full time and they worked out and they were patient. They worked out ways to, to penetrate us. And I felt we could have been a little bit more clever to combat that as well. Um, but we've had a, a physical game on Tuesday night, um, another one today, and really, really good running for us. Um, shorter running that we'd probably do in our league. Um, so there'll be a lot more um, benefit for that. Of the majority of the players that played over the last two games, what sort of percentages are they at in terms of where you want them to be for the season? 90% maybe ready to go now? Yeah, I'd say so. I'd say so. I think even when you start a season, you're never 100% anyway. You, you probably take six or seven games to really be um, starting to be at the races anyway. And that'll be the same for everyone. Um, but in terms of just basic uh, fitness, I think we're at a decent level. Uh, like I say, these boys um, who we played against today are sort of really fit boys. Um, probably train five times a week or whatever it may be. Um, same with Palace. And we've done okay with it at times. We've matched them at times. Um, probably not for 90 minute periods, but that'll be unexpected. Physicality of both games will hold you in good stead as well, won't it? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think um, uh, going into next week, we will spread the teams out a little bit. We've got um, <coughs> three games, um, so we don't want the load to be too much. I think we'll look a little bit fit on stronger. Um, and then obviously we have a week until prepared to zero. Something to maybe to look at was the fact you got picked off on the counter-attack quite a few times today. Obviously, Naira made two very good challenges during the game, which could have prevented further goals. Yeah, um, bad, bad delivery and bad um, organisation um, behind us as well. Um, I think there was one in particular where Naira made a fantastic tackle, but uh, Ibrahim committed himself on the edge of the box where he was never going to really win it uh, instead of running back to goal. Um, so just yeah, bad decisions, but uh, in fairness, <clears throat> in fairness, that won't happen at that pace in our league. To me. And just finally, obviously, uh, you alluded to the fact we've got three games this week. Going to be uh, a few minutes for all the players over the next few games. Yeah, definitely. Um, we've got a few who are lacking minutes, um, and we'll be delighted to get them a game, um, at least uh, one game during the week next season, uh, next week. Sorry.